hey guys welcome and welcome back if you knew i am whisper and if not hey so this diy will be about this trench coat i decided to make it because it's starting to get a little cold outside so we definitely need to bundle up so this trench coat is so pretty also i added a liner so we're gonna learn how to add a liner to our coat hey so Please don't forget that I'll be posting new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So, two DIYs in one week. Eh? So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, click on the bell button so you won't miss any DIYs. Alright, guys. So, continue tuning in. So, to make this trend cool, of course, you will need your fabric your liner scissors measuring tape and also a pattern this is a old trench coat of mine so i just i didn't want it that so i just cut it into pieces so this is the collar this is the back coat this would be the front coat And this is the arm piece. So I'm going to use this coat, of course, as a pattern. So you can help me guide this jacket. If you guys don't have a jacket to cut up, <laughs> of course, you could use... If you have a trench coat, you could trace it out on a piece of paper. Or you could buy a pattern. So first thing first, we are going to cut the back piece. And when you cut the back piece, make sure you add extra seam allowance now this fabric is not stretchy at all so when i add extra seam allowance i probably might add at least three and a half inches just to make sure because like i said this fabric is not stretchy at all so let's get started and another thing i'm gonna make this jacket a little longer than this pattern right here so I measure myself and I wanted it to be at least 32 inches. Let me make it a little longer, 34. So I want the, the coat to be at least 34 inches long. I'm gonna mark it right here. So now I know where to start cutting. And let's get to it. So we got our back piece. Flip this piece over. All right. So now we got our back piece of the jacket. We're gonna put this to the side. So now we are going to do the front piece. So I want my jacket to be this wide. I'm gonna measure it all the way up to 34 inches. And then I'm going to mark it just like the back piece. And when you get to the front, there's like a little curve right here. Make sure you cut out the curve because we definitely need it for the trench jacket. And also don't forget to cut out a piece for the arms as well so I know where to cut the armhole all right now 
now we got the front piece of our jacket right here. And then we're gonna flip this over and do the same thing like what we did in the back piece though. So now we got our front piece of the coat. So this is how it's looking so far. I'm excited. All right, so now that we're working the arms, I want to measure to the back piece again. And I am just measuring the size of the arms and then give me 10 inches. So that's the size of the arm when it's folded. 10 inches so when it's folded this is 10 inches so we're gonna do 20 inches this is gonna be 20 inches long since it's open and not folded so we're going to mark the 20 inch inch Put it in the middle. Twenty inch, and then I'm going to start cutting right here. And we're gonna cut the exact same shape. So now we are going to cut out the collar piece. I'm going to push the fabric in so we could do two of the collars. Now we move it on to the lining. Now this part is gonna be easy. So now we need a front piece of the jacket for the liner. So I got this piece, I put it right top on the fabric. This is how long the jacket is gonna be, so I'm not gonna cut the bottom, but I am gonna cut this shape out so it could match with the jacket. Like once you flip the jacket over, you will see that fabric stuff. And I'm just adding extra seam allowance as well. I'm gonna flip this over and just cut out the same shape. Okay, so now we are going to work the lining. So we're gonna cut out the back piece lining and the back piece lining would be one piece. And also make sure you add extra seam allowance. Now we got the back piece of our lining. So I am lining up the back piece of the jacket so I could prepare it to sew. So I'm going to pin the sides 
from the top to the bottom. So let's do that now. This is the front piece. This is the front piece of the lining where we're going to attach. I'm going to just put this piece right on top so I know where to cut at. And then I'm going to fold it in. And this is where we're going to start cutting right here. You do not want to cut out that extra piece that, that goes outward because that's where we already got our fabric attached to. So. I'm just putting the remote there so it won't move. Now we are going to cut the arm piece. And now I am attaching the outer piece onto the lining together to form the front piece of the lining. Also make sure the pieces are facing right side together and then pin them. And this is how it will look once you finish pinning it. Now for the sleeves, we are going to pin the sides and then sew the sides as well. Alright, so when you guys are sewing, please don't forget to backstitch because it is really, very embarrassing once your stitches start unraveling. We do not want that at all. So always, when, before you start sewing, backstitch and then when you end sewing, you also backstitch as well. So now it's time to attach the front piece onto the back piece and we are going to pin the sides and also where the shoulders is at. We are going to pin them and then sew them afterwards but please make sure that the fabric are facing right side together. So for the sleeves we are attaching the sleeves like this and the sleeve did came a little bigger so if the sleeves comes out a little big you could just fold it like how i did it here you could fold little by little here i folded it like here you guys see that i like fold it and then pin it fold it and then pin it fold it and then pin it and then i turn it inside out to see if that's how i want my jacket to look and it's looking good so if you don't like these extra space you could always adjust the pins you could adjust the fold to your desirable way the style that you want so yes i'm going to do that on the other side of the jacket and then i'll be right back to show you guys how it's looking so far so i just finished sewing the sleeves on to the body of the satin lining also with the jacket as well so now, we yeah. did end up cutting out a collar band but i'm just going to end up attaching just the collar onto the jacket so make sure you know where the middle part of the collar and how i know the middle part of the collar i just fold it in half and then i mark it so 
I'm gonna mark it using my pen. All right, so where the middle is at, we're going to attach it onto the middle of the jacket. So we are going to pin all of it all together. Also, you would do the same thing with the lining as well. This is the extra collar for the lining. I'll be right back once I completed it and I will show you guys. And this is how it will look once you pin them together. All right, so we are almost done. So once you've finished sewing the collars together, you are facing the lining and the jacket facing right side together. And we are going to sew this part, the collar, and also the side of the jacket. So once again, we are going to sew the side of the jacket and then the collar part, the side again, all the way straight down. That's where we are going to sew, and I'll be right back. Once you're done sewing the edges together, just turn them inside out and make sure you poke the sides out. Make sure that everything is coming out all nice and lovely. If it's difficult to take it out with your fingers, I use my scissor just to poke the edges out. Also over here, I use my scissor to poke the edges out on the pointy parts. Now, this is how it's looking. I am about to press it so it can have a nice professional look. So, I'm sorry that it is dark, but all I'm doing is just pressing the edge of the jacket so it can have a nice finished professional look. So with the bottom, what I'm going to do is just fold inwards, like a centimeter inwards, and just pin it. It is all folded up so and after then I finished sewing the bottom. I also did the same method with the sleeves. And then we are done. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in again back on Friday for the next DIY. When you subscribe, also make sure you hit the bell button so you won't miss another popping DIY. Yeah.